All right, Rick and I are going to show you a move that I learned a long time ago by a great player in the NBA by the name of Easy Ed McCauley. And I first started out Rick going to a basketball camp, and he asked me to do a few things and saying, well, how am I supposed to? I just kind of did these things. I didn't really know. So he said, well, let me show you this move. And he said, I call it the onside move, and it's what you call the open move. And it's contrary to what most people teach because most people teach to keep – your body between the defender and the ball. And so with the open move or the onside move, we'll stay with the open move, you're going to attack the defender, again, from the triple threat position and the triple attack position. You're going to get in this position here, and you're going to read him and see where he is. And obviously, if, if he were a little bit too far away and I'm here, I'm going to take my shot because I'm not going to allow him to not play me. That's why if you're a good shooter, he has to play me honest. So you read him. He's in a position now where I'm going to attack him. So I'm here in the triple attack position. And what I'm going to do is most players will guard you with one foot a little bit in front of the other. In this case, it's even more so. But that's what you aim at, the forward foot. His left foot is forward. That means I'm going to attack him from the same side of the floor. That'll be my right foot. It's the opposite foot, but on the same side. Or as Coach Torbett likes to talk about, attack the back. To his back. His back is this way. That's to your right. That's where I'm going to attack him. Now what you want to do on this move is you have to take the ball and bring it in, protect it over here on the side, and my attacking move is right to the outside of that foot. I don't mess around by going out here. I don't do steps and step in between them. It's not a fake. It's an attacking move. So I'm going right to the outside of his foot. Now, if he were that slow in real life, I would have gone by him. As I start this move... I'm loaded up here on my back leg. This is like a spring, a catapult to get me to go. As I start to push, if I started to go here and saw that he wasn't immediately reacting to that, I know I got him. And I'm able to blow by him. I get him on my hip and he's in trouble. But I'm right at that foot. If he's a good defender and he's going to react to it, I pull it here. I make the move. Now he's back. Now this is where the fun starts. Now you've heard a lot of people of the rocker step. This is what I feel is like the rocker. As I am here. He's in that position. I start to do this. I don't lift up. I start to come back. But again, back leg, loaded up, totally loaded up as a catapult. As I start to come back, and if he does that least little move, just that much, I'm going to beat him. Because the moment I see him do that, I push off from the back foot, explode to here. By the time he reacts, I'm already by him. The ball's on the floor, and I'm to the basket. So let's do that quickly. We'll do it in slow motion. I'm here. He reacts. I do this, he comes forward, I explode, look where I am. He's dead. Because now he still has to turn to get to me. When he turns, I'm taking this next step. Look at that. No way that he can guard me. Can't stop that move. So here, here, whoa, beat him. The hard part is learning to keep yourself in balance. So if you see him react, don't take such a big step that I'm off balance. If I see him reacting, I shorten my step up so that I'm in control and in balance. Then I come here. If he leans, I explode. Now, let's say I come here. He drops back. He do, as I start to come back, he doesn't give me that little move. I come right back here. Got my shot. I've got the space. I take the shot. There's another thing that can be done. A lot of times after I make this move, the defender will drop back. As I come back... He starts to react, but he might shuffle forward. If I came back and he shuffled, now I cross over, but I go right to the outside of that foot. We've got the same scenario. I hit the ground. I got him on my hip. He's dead meat. That is the progression for the open move. And so when you just see, I re first of all, I react. If he's too far away, I shoot the ball. If I get him in a position where I know I can attack him, it's at the forward foot. Here, here. Oh, bye. Believe me. This one, if you work on this one, you will cause major grief for the person defending you. The key to it is you're slow and deliberate. It's not, you don't do that. It's not that kind of move. When you're going to get out of the triple attack position, make it be an aggressive, actual move to beat the man, not a fake. I'm not going to fake right and go left. Because sometimes you do this and he doesn't move and you come back here when you should have beaten him because he didn't do anything. Always think aggressively. It's an attacking move to beat your man. Again, the key as a one-on-one -on -one player without the dribble is I need to get this defender moving 
Then the most difficult part is reading when I've got him out of position and I can take advantage of him. You can go and do this without anybody here. I don't need Coach Torbett here if I want to practice. I just get a ball. I get down here. I imagine that I have a defender in front of me. So, okay, now I'm going to go to my left and do it. Left, rocker, push off, go. Anticipate what the defense is doing. Imagine. Oh, he didn't take it. I go. And play a game with yourself. I used to do this all the time. And then you do it with the opposite foot. Then you go and you step, you come back, you cross over. Or you step and go into the shot. Just do this on your own to get the feel of here. You see how I stay on the same plane? I'm not going this way. I don't lift up and I don't come back like this. I stay down here, here, back loaded. And the key to it is, is when you do have the guy leaning, the explosion is not to take this foot and bring it forward. It's to extend the forward foot. And Rick, if we'll come here, it's just so for demonstration purposes, just, I'm just gonna show you where I step, all right? If I stepped here, and then I step with my other foot, please put your foot right here where my foot is. This is where I got to, right? Yep. Let's put it this way. This is where I got to, right? right? Now, that's when this foot hit the ground. If I do this and explode, I've already reached that point with this foot right. much quicker. And then by the time this foot comes down, where am I? I've covered a whole lot more territory and I've gotten to that point a whole lot faster than I would so if you were to time for me from here to there, as opposed to here to there, I guarantee you this is going to be faster. So I get the same distance in a shorter period of time, and I'm going to wind up covering a lot more territory by the time I bring my rear foot there. But that's the hardest part is learn how to do this and that explosion there. That's the key to the move. Here, rocker, boom. That's what beats them. Good luck. I hope to see it when I watch highlights of you on ESPN. You can find this and more player development at betterbasketball.com.